Okay, are you still going to cook? Okay, say hello to the camera. Hello. Okay, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, I, I have been trying to come up with a lot of topics. Okay, and I'm very happy that you all are still calling me, you are still messaging me, you are still dropping me message, dropping me emails, asking me this, asking me that. Okay, why do I say that? Because when you ask me, right, I need to think. When I think, I learn. When you ask me, I need to research. When I research, I learn again. So, from all these things, right, I will realize that I have topics to share and topics to talk about. So, today's topic, right, is very easy. Drink water first. And then, right. Okay, <laughs> Blinded property buyers. Okay, this topic ah, uh, um, why did I want to do this topic? Because many many of the buyers and sellers that I met came to me and tell me that they see this thing from where where where, they see this video from where where where, uh, they read some comments from where where where, and they are worried. They want to check with me and see what are my views. Okay, so when I I mean, to me, is when I hear about this right, that it's always that few places and that few forums, that few, uh, videos that that people are asking about. Okay, so this video is going to be very short because I I want to do this video particularly right to address this issue. I feel that. No matter what kind of uh, research uh, that we are doing or what kind of analysis we are doing, right? I think in the current uh, world situation, uh, I think our government has also put up this uh, new law about fake news. So, I think also, right, um, in this current world where, where internet is such a such a widely used medium and everyone is on the internet everyone has the rights to say whatever they want everyone can just set up an account type in the forum reply some questions and everything is is making this uh, place or this world full of information however in this world full of information right i i really really agree with the government when they came up with this uh law to actually uh rebut fake fake news and also like uh, get them to do a correction order and all these things okay why do i say that because a lot of opinions a lot of uh comments a lot of videos that i read right on the internet i i to me is a lot of things that's being said by people they don't take responsible responsibility for it so many things when you you realize that you read it online or you saw a video on it Many of these people that actually tell you this thing or share this thing or say this thing, they don't really care what will happen to you after you read the comment. They don't really care if you use the comment and make a and do a buying decision. They don't care right what you what happened to you if you use it as a source of their opinion as a source of your decision. So to me, right, I, I, I feel that it's wrong. Okay? If you really watch a lot of my videos, right, you realize that I present a lot of facts. And some of my videos, I when I present opinions, right, I don't, I will never tell you that my opinions are hundred percent correct, but I will give you uh, justifiable facts and knowledge and reason why I say so. So, but a lot of things are uh, a lot of comments that I see elsewhere, when my when clients come and ask me, I feel that they are they are on baseless, uh, comments. Ba baseless meaning there's no evidence, there's no facts and figures, there's nothing that when they say blah blah blah. They cannot justify this blah blah blah. It's like when I was in university when I want I need to write something. Then I need to do a project. I need to, I need to justify something. Then I write source from where. This, this, to them or these people when they make such a comment or when you see this comment on the internet, they basically have no source on all. So source from they put a question mark. Or the source is is already a misleading source to make them make a misleading comment. So I feel that when you want to purchase a property, it's a very very big decision. Okay, I almost go about gravity, but <laughs> yeah. But anyway, it's a very very big decision. Or when you want to sell your house, or you want to upgrade, you want to downgrade, it involves a family. When you do such things, ah, it's gonna be it, it may be or to some people, to some people not. It's the biggest purchase that you make in your life. Please take it very very seriously. Please use. 
facts and figures knowledge and come out and and use it to make decisions based on based on evidence based on uh, things that are real if you are going around uh, just looking for like you ask people hey this property go or not 可以啦会赚钱的一定会赚钱的 if just by these few sentences uh, oh sure earn money sure earn money and you buy I, I really have no comments to me I feel that I don't know I'm not that kind of person lah. you know even when I when I look to buy a phone or I look to buy a computer I, I do a lot of research myself so I do so much research that that the next person that kind of asked me hey Evan which computer should I buy maybe at that period of time if I'm very updated I'm doing my research I'm, be, I'm able to explain to you which computer to buy you know so I feel that computer is a small thing lah. maybe it's a couple of thousands but when you go and buy a property it's a million it's hundred over thousand it's six digits seven digits you should take it very 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 seriously so please take your make your decision based on the right knowledge taken from the right source okay I, I really feel that opinions people don't really take responsible for it you know that they, they don't really take responsibility for it in the forums so if you see opinions or you see a agent coming out and tell you that uh, uh, oh you 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 know this place uh, this place uh, 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 what the price will drop you know uh, developer will start to slash price because there's a lot of projects around this area you know I if you see a lot of my videos right it's not that I don't I don't believe you know is that you make you this comment is being made that oh this this area the place will drop you know developer will slash price because there's too many supply the thing is if today right the developer buy the land for like thousand four then the developer is already selling thousand six I right? think they break even thousand four they're already selling thousand six so you expect them to drop to thousand four you expect them to make a loss you know is is and and the thing is it's a district that many rich people are in it's 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 not a district whereby uh whereby it's a very ulu place and then no one to buy this area and yet there's like six seven projects in the same place so i mean why am i saying this because i also have a lot of clients that send me other people's videos uh, send me uh, uh i got a lot of you also watching other youtube channels you also can ask me for opinion and ask me what i think so I don't want to pinpoint which video lah but Okay Anyway uh, Sorry if this video stopped halfway Anyway while I'm talking about this right I realized that uh, the video was uh, deleted and reproduced So the information was taken away uh, Something like um, The first video was saying that This place, this property and everything Will, will go on discount and everything but uh, later on he says that uh, because of some sensitive issue is being taken down okay this is what i meant you see because because what you are putting up is is a uh, opinion you know and and it's very dangerous when you put up so opinion and especially for property agents like us we we have a license you know and this is our our job so when when we put up opinions right i think we got to be responsible for it lah so i think this is also one of the guarantees that you get um from uh the public as in from the agents instead of the public because you go to forums people just make opinions people don't really care if you if you follow their opinion and make a decision and then five years later you lose few hundred thousand dollars because of that so i think this is very important so uh okay let's go back to the video i'm just putting this up because i feel that uh Got to draw a balance. Got to be very. Uh, you if you see if you see make a perspective on the left, right. You have to also see the perspective on the right to make sure that the perspective on the left, right, is not biased or is not uh, wrong or correct in a way whereby you have to be more wholesome in your perspective. Okay, so anyway, thank you for watching this video. I just want to keep this video short. I do this video particularly to address this problem. Okay, so uh, take note of the next episode. Okay, we are on the week two or week three. We are going to go on with Circuit Breaker. Okay, and my promise here is I'll be with you for the whole Circuit Breaker. So I will do more videos and then uh, keep watching. Hit the subscribe button, like button, and i see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.